Hi! Welcome to Bollywood to Hollywood. This is a picture of the star of the show Bollywood to Hollywood. Uh, his name is Sunil and he's a, a really good friend of ours. He's, he's a really cool guy. It is a awesome uh, webisode series that they have mm -hmm. with our friend Sunil and they invited us to go to their red carpet which was awesome. We learned a lot from that red carpet. Mm -hmm. It was it was really cool because they had a fashion designer there and she asked us to wear her clothes and their Indian out their original Indian outfits, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as you can see in these pictures, her choice for us um, was absolutely gorgeous. She took the um, Indian fashion, but she made it into like real day type stuff. That like you modern, wear. modern, like modern, yeah, modern exactly. clothes. Exactly. And that's why we felt so comfortable in them. Now, you wore a gorgeous gown. I I think that you could have worn this anywhere. Absolutely. My gown, you couldn't yeah. really wear anywhere except for maybe like a Grammys thing or Oscar. But yeah. you, you could wear this gown not only to those occasions, but you can also wear it to, to like a friend's baptism. Something, you know, like. Yeah, it is really Not that you cute. usually have friends that are well, 14. <laughs> Yeah, this dress was obviously Indian inspired and the designer did a wonderful job with it. And you're right, it is something that could be worn anywhere, um, mm -hmm. not just at an Indian type red carpet. So that was really nice and it had a really great feel to it. It was very sparkly. Um, I really enjoyed wearing it. Very form-fitting, and the colors uh, matched your eyes, and, and it really brought out the blonde in your hair. It just, it really... That's a good point. Um, with, with having bright blue eyes, sometimes you'd think like, oh, blue goes with blue, but actually, usually turquoise brings out my eyes, hmm. and that's something to think about um, as an actor or anyone in the industry who goes on a red carpet, you know, what's going to bring out that pop in your eyes. Well, that's funny that you just said that, because mm -hmm. we both have a friend of ours who worked in a casting office, and he said he would go through thousands of headshots, and the only ones that would ever, you know, uh, come out from everybody else is the fact that their eyes, mm -hmm. their all, eyes always caught his attention. So you always want to compliment your eyes and have your, your what you're wearing just, uh, I think, match. Yeah. The one thing that I liked about the outfit that the designer chose for me was the fact that it kind of had a cape. And I, I totally felt like I was like Batwoman the whole night. It really complimented the, the outfit. I mean, it made me think outside the box and it made me realize, you know, what if I got a style where there was something flowing in the back. And as far as the patterns, um, they were very unique. They worked out really, really well. Well, a good thing to, to point out is when you do show up early, it's good not just because you get in front of the line, but you never know if they have their own stylist. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they choose you to wear their clothing. And that's always like a compliment. You know, you should always be happy that you're chosen. And that way you have time to get your, your hair done and the makeup and the outfit. For this one, I think we showed up hair and makeup ready knowing in advance we were going to have an outfit. But we didn't, know, right. we didn't know what it was going to be. So yeah. literally there's like 20 women in a room <laughs> all like trying on different clothes. And, um, but we managed to find those ones and they were really cute. She, the designer had brought a whole different, bunch of different options. We had a lot of fun wearing her clothing, getting on the red carpet, getting the pictures taken, and then mingling with the guests. Because this was a, a charity fundraiser, I believe. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, this was one of those ones where everyone showed up for the red carpet and for supporting of the Bollywood to Hollywood series. But then they had like a um, silent auction and a regular auction. Oh my god, the stuff on the and... auction table was... Yeah. Uh, was you wouldn't even believe. They had like autographed, framed things from like Billie Holiday and, and all these old mm -hmm. movie stars. I mean, it was just, I wanted them all. So that's all for today. All right, guys. See you next time. Mwah.